The Temptations have had some wonderful and terrific lead singers from David Ruffin, Eddie Kendricks, Dennis Edwards, Ollie Ollie Woodson to Paul Williams. However, Ollie Ollie Woodson was without a doubt, the most versatile of them all behind David Ruffin and that just my opinion. Do you agree? Did you know Ali Ali Woodson was with The Temptations for 12 years? He appeared in many episodes of Amen and The Jamie Foxx Show, had a small role in The Little Richard Movie and The Cleanup Woman. So, if you're a Temptation and Ali Ali Woodson fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. How was Ali Ali Woodson early life alike? Ali Ali Woodson, Sr. was indeed born on September 12, 1951, in Detroit, Michigan, to Gladys Presberry and the late Robert E. Woodson. When he was five years old, he relocated with his mother to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and subsequently moved to Town Creek, Alabama, later in his childhood. How Ali Ali Woodson got into music Ali Ali Woodson, Sr. displayed his musical talent from a very young age. While attending Town Creek Elementary, his singing abilities were so remarkable that the principal would pause classes to allow him to perform for the entire school. He began singing in the local church choir at the age of four, showcasing his inspiring harmonies. At just seven years old, Woodson won first prize in a talent show, marking the beginning of his many accolades in school performances. In the late 1960s, Woodson graduated from Central High School in Cortland, Alabama. Shortly after, at the age of 17, he enlisted in the United States Army, embarking on a new chapter of his life. Did Woodson join the original Drifters at only 19? You heard it right, at the age of 19, Ali Ali Woodson began his career by performing with legendary groups like the Drifters in the early 1970s. Bill Pinckney played a crucial role in Woodson's musical journey by offering him a job as a musician and later as a vocalist for Bill Pinckney's original Drifters. Woodson's association with Pinckney continued to be significant over the years. In 1996, Woodson returned to lead the original Drifters gospel song, True Love, which was featured on the album, Peace in the Valley. Woodson always held Pinckney in high regard, often referring to him as his father in the music business. He paid tribute to Pinckney by singing, Walk Around Heaven All Day, at Pinckney's funeral in July 2007, showcasing the deep respect and bond they shared. Did Ali Ali Woodson join the Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes? In 1977, Ali Ali Woodson joined the Blue Notes for a period of two years. Notably, this incarnation of the group occurred after Teddy Pendergrass had departed, and the group was no longer officially known as Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. During his time with the Blue Notes, Woodson contributed significantly. He co-wrote and sang on the Notes' 1978 single, Disco Explosion, released by Fantasy Records. However, Woodson eventually left the group and relocated to New York in the following year. In New York, he worked as a limousine driver, honing his songwriting skills. During this period, he conceptualized several song ideas that he later submitted to The Temptations, showcasing his growing prowess as a songwriter. How Ali Ali Woodson Joined The Temptations After attending a Temptations show in 1993, Ali Ali Woodson went backstage to see Melvin Franklin. The following year, Dennis Edwards was fired from The Temptations. Impressed by Woodson's singing, Otis Williams, the group's founder, invited him to join The Temptations on the road as Dennis' replacement. Woodson became the lead singer, a role that required him to fill the shoes of two legendary vocalists, David Ruffin and Dennis Edwards. Remarkably, Woodson not only lived up to the legacy of his predecessors but also elevated the group's style to a new level, creating a distinct sound synonymous with the name, Temptations. During his time with The Temptations, which lasted for over 13 years, Woodson contributed original material, infusing the group with new songs. His hit single, Treat Her Like a Lady, not only became a chart topper but also earned a gold certification, propelling The Temptations back to the forefront of the pop and R&B charts. Woodson's talent and creativity played a crucial role in rejuvenating the group's success and ensuring their enduring legacy. What was the biggest Ali Ali Woodson songs? Ali Ali Woodson made significant contributions to several iconic groups, including The Drifters, Harold Melvin and The Blue Notes, and The Temptations. While he was a part of these groups, some of the notable songs he was associated with are With The Drifters There Goes My First Love, 1976, this song was released during his tenure with The Drifters With Harold Melvin and The Blue Notes Prayin', 1977, Woodson contributed to this album during his time with the group with The Temptations. Treat Her Like a Lady, 1984, one of the biggest hits of The Temptations featuring Ollie Ollie Woodson as the lead vocalist. 
Soul to Soul, 1986, a successful single showcasing Woodson's vocal talent. Lady Soul, 1986, another popular song during Woodson's time with the group. After departing from The Temptations, Ali Ali Woodson embarked on a solo career and frequently toured with a Temptations-inspired ensemble called Ali Ali Woodson and the Emperors of Soul. Between 2006 and 2008, he performed in The Temptations Review featuring Dennis Edwards, although he and Edwards were never members of The Temptations at the same time. Following his time with this group, Woodson was succeeded by Paul Williams' son, Paul Williams Jr. Additionally, Woodson toured with Aretha Franklin in 2008, showcasing his versatile talent as a performer. Who was he married to and his children? Ali Ali Woodson had the opportunity to assume a father's role in his children's lives, and he will always be remembered as their loving father. In 1986, he met Juanita Brown, the love of his life. They married in 1992, and together they had two children along with his other children Jay, Sophie, late Asha, Justin, and Keisha. They shared over 17 years of marriage, creating a strong and loving family bond during their time together. Aliyah Woodson, the daughter of Ali Ali Woodson, has followed in her father's footsteps as a songwriter and singer. She has released singles under her own name and is actively working to establish her own identity in the music industry, apart from her father's legacy. Additionally, she has been dedicated to preserving and promoting her father's legacy, ensuring that his contributions to music are remembered and celebrated. His son Ali Ali Woodson Jr. has kept out of limelight but he is actively involved in maintaining his father's legacy. Was Woodson ever arraigned? On July 10, 1985, Ali Ali Woodson, the lead singer of The Temptations, was arrested for speeding in South Los Angeles. During the arrest, a small amount of drugs wrapped in a $50 bill was allegedly found in his car. Woodson was taken into custody at the Sheriff's Lenox Station, posted a $2,500 bail, and was released on bond the following morning. How Woodson died? Ali Ali Woodson battled health challenges throughout his life. He was first diagnosed with throat cancer during his time with The Temptations. Despite undergoing surgery, the cancer returned twice in subsequent years. In late 2008, Woodson was diagnosed with leukemia and was hospitalized for several weeks. He fought bravely for nearly 18 months but succumbed to leukemia on May 30, 2010, in Los Angeles, California. Woodson is survived by his wife, Juanita, and their two children, Ali Ali Jr., AJ, and Aliyah Woodson. He is also survived by his other children, J. Ali Thompson, Sophia White, John, late Asha de Guzman, Justina, and Keisha. Woodson was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California, where he rests in eternal peace. Ali Ali Woodson's Legacy His legacy shines through his impactful years as The Temptations' lead vocalist, reinvigorating the group's sound. His solo career, collaborations, and dedication to family further solidify his enduring influence on music, leaving a lasting impact on fans and artists alike.